What's up guys, Twilight Bright here. Welcome back again with another video on the channel. Today is spooky season, it's spooky month. We're gonna be reacting to some scary videos on TikTok and we'll be ranking them on a tier list. And the reason I picked TikTok because sometimes it can be goofy, sometimes it can be actually scary, sometimes it can be like a mix of two, so. What the hell? I picked TikTok, and plus TikTok got short videos to be very quick. And I'll be ranking them on the tier list. I'll be showing you the tier list right now. All right, so we have them. We got Goof, basically goofy. It's not scary. You try, and it's not scary. And then we got not scary, which is not scary. We got spooked, that leafy spook. You're like, okay, um, okay, that got me there. Horrifying, you know, it got me. It's, it's up there. I might can't sleep. And super scary, we got someone hiding under your bed, watching you, and watching you. <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more spooky, scary videos on this October. And let's react and watch all of them. And we'll be numbering them by one, two, three, four. We got one right Creepy here. Lost videos. Oh, oh hell no, no man. What the I don't even know what to say to that. That was like someone walking up a, a wall with their body in a 180 degree angle. So I would just put that on number one, spooked. Oh, it's something out the window. Okay, okay. Alright, I think that's just a coincidence. Alright, I will rank them all right later. You guys know the drill when you see this background. I'm only telling you once. Today's story is on the gory side, so viewer discretion is advised. It's story time. Take a seat. I can't believe Nemo just touched that butt. On August 17th, 2003, there was a man by the name of Doug McKay who was the co-owner of this carnival in Seattle, Washington. On this day, Doug would be oiling up a section of the carnival's most famous ride. It went by the name of the Super Loop 2. Doug would be scanning the area of this roller coaster, looking at it, trying to figure out which parts to oil while it was still active and full of passengers. As the ride began going through its famous loop, Doug McKay was standing right underneath it. Unfortunately for Doug, his hair would be blowing straight up from the wind, and it would cause it to get caught by the wheels on this roller coaster. After his hair was caught, the momentum of the this roller coaster real, was just so great that it case. swooped him off his feet and just started carrying him along with the other passengers. After a short while of being ragdolled through the air by this ride, there'd be a piece of metalwork that was sticking out and it would go across his throat, cutting it. The cut wouldn't be enough to kill him, but it would be enough to spray blood all over this little boy by the name of Dylan Bowles, who was directly in front of them when this happened. He would be the only one out of 30 people on that ride who got sprayed by Doug's blood. But the worst was yet to come. While Doug was still barely alive, the ride would loop the loop again, and this loop was so great that it tore his scalp clean off his head. The separation of his scalp would free him from the roller coaster, but with his throat cut and his head scalped, his scalp it sent blood spraying everywhere. Wait for it. Directly on a class of children who were standing in line for another ride. After these poor kids had been sprayed with blood, Doug would continue his journey through the air and crash into this beam that folded him in half like a lawn chair. He would finally die after hitting the concrete that was below him, but the impact was so great that it caused his guts, brains, you name it, to splatter everywhere. And remember, kids were here. Oh, and the icing on the cake, the splatter from that would get all over another bunch of kids who were just unfortunate to be walking by at the time. Gross. After this mayhem finally came to an end, the police and the fire department right, we're would- We're gonna stop that right there. That's number three. You got- Alright, let's go to four. Because I get deleted for being too disturbing. So we're gonna just start here. I remember seeing this. Part four. I'm not showing this video. So number two, that was the photos. So I will put the photos on Spoot. Number three, when you think about all your head, that's actually horrifying and number four i'm definitely putting out super scary even though i didn't show part of it if you just watch it it's kind of it's really scary
Three. They're possessed doll walking around watching them sleep. Or right, the funny thing about TikTok, they don't take it seriously. Why would both skedaddly? <laughs> Why would it crip walking? Here's some of the creepiest videos on the internet. Part 10. The popular American rapper XXXTentacion was murdered on June 18th, 2018, and his death broke the hearts of many. Many people visited his memorial to leave gifts, but some people captured much more. The YouTube channel, The Fam, recorded a video trying to communicate with this beloved rapper, but accidentally captured this. Man, I think this is fake. They, I think they're using him, like, to make it seem real. Or to get viewed. But someone else got a lot more than this. The YouTube channel Selva the Explorer got to speak with him through her spirit box. Here's some things he had to say. What is your favorite song that you ever recorded? What's the name of your favorite song? Are you in the white light? Is there anything else you want to tell us? So I'll put five at spooked, six the crypt walking doll, I'll put that at not scary since the comments made it unscary, and seven, I'll put that on horrifying because the dude that was looking over the glass, that, that actually kind of, that got me. That Things that used to look creepy. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, 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 They got one on top of their head. Like you're a patient and not come out the door at night, nah. My left my body at the end. Do not watch out. Reflection on the window. A reflection on the window. Okay, okay, okay. Right. He must have been out of her head. He must. <laughs> Number eight at spooked. Number nine. Number nine, the little kid. I'll put that horrifying. And number ten, the dude all behind them, goofy. That was goofy. No one, no one's falling for that. No one's falling for that. Scary video from the internet. I'm gonna skip that. I'm not watching that whole movie. Oh, Scary oh, video right. from that the- kind of spooky. Okay, so since everyone literally requested this today, we're going to be talking about the Russian, Russian sleep experiment. experiment. So in the height of World War II, this. Russian scientists wanted to find a way to keep their soldiers awake longer. She and in order to do this, up. they decided to test the effects of extreme sleep point. deprivation. All right. They rounded up five prisoners of war and were like, hey, if you do this, we'll grant you your freedom. So they put them all inside of this sealed glass chamber that would continue to release this stimulant gas that would keep them awake. And apparently this gas was still in the experimental stages, so they didn't really know what would happen with it. But they were pretty confident that it wouldn't kill them at the least. So they begin, and the first three to four days goes pretty great. Everyone's overall pretty optimistic pumping the gas, the prisoners are staying awake. But day four is when they started to see a pretty big change in their subjects. The subjects went from small talk to talking about really dark things like their traumas. They started to complain about the experiment as well. And on day six, the participants actually stopped talking to each other entirely and even got paranoid. 
each of them segregated themselves off in their sleep. own section of the chamber. You need sleep. A few of them began life. to believe that they could sell out their comrades in order to get out of the experiment. They tried to get each other in trouble, but the researchers didn't care. They were just there to observe. But on day nine, things took a significant turn whenever one of them just started screaming and running around. Went back and forth across the chamber for about two to three hours until he was just making a squeaking noise. And it was later found out that he had actually torn his own vocal cords from screaming so much. Uh, uh, the other subjects did uh, not react to this whatsoever. Instead, the other participants reacted by ripping out parts of the books that were given to them to entertain them during this experiment. They soaked them in toilet water and started to place them over the glass so that the researchers could no longer see in. And you're going to be shocked by what happens next. Okay, so since... Soaked them in toilet water? <laughs> what? Eleven... Uh, I'll put that at spooked and to whale to whale. I'll put that horrifying scene in this video as a suspect accesses the lobby. Seconds later, the woman knew he was around the corner and she quickly tried to open her apartment lock. Her instincts spot on. Hey, yo, miss. He came right after her, determined to get inside. Always, always get ready to close that door. I came inside, and then right away I just screamed, somebody's following me. Like, he was literally one second from coming inside. As she watches this video, she knows she was very lucky. Mm -hmm. The moment seen in this... Okay, I wouldn't call that scary, but that was definitely, like, horrifying for her. So I'll put that on. Oh, yeah, actually, I'll put that on horrifying because she was getting chased, she was getting followed, and he ran by the door when she, like, unlocked the door. So I'll put that at 13, horrifying. If that would be the video for today. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos or horrifying October TikToks. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe.